Ping G425 driver review coming at you today in the comments down below. Let me know, are you a Ping driver fan? Have you ever used a Ping driver? In the comments down there, let me know which one you've used and if you liked it or not. So look, Ping G425, it's a funny driver this one. So we've got three heads and we're gonna start outside where it's crazy cold. And then we got normal numbers. We've got strokes gained as well. Ping do really well in the strokes gained. So it'll be interesting to see if this one carries on that theme, which is a good theme to Ping. But also this club has been released in different parts of the world and not over here. So you might have already seen a review of it. You might think you might already own one. It's just been a funny launch. I don't, I don't really understand why it's been like this, apart from certain business models, I guess. But it's the Ping G425, brand new, not brand new driver. Kind of brand new, not brand new from Ping. Should be fun, as well as very cold. So with the three heads, it's interesting. I've got them down on the ground here and I don't really know which one is which uh, of initial looks, which I think is really smart with Ping because you got three, in theory, quite different heads, a drawer obviously, and then you got the low spin. That isn't, that is the max and that's the low spin. Uh, LST tech. Yeah, I mean, maybe a little, now I know that, a little bit more stretched back on the max, looking, possibly, a little bit more flatter to the ground at the back. The draw, and I really like this with Ping, the draw tech to the max, like your mates are not gonna know you've got a draw. They're just, it's, it's just not like sitting crazy or doing anything crazy in his looks. And I think that's really quite smart. Should we start with, the LST Tech. Let's see what it feels like. I mean, it's not really changed in the world of Ping. That looks like what Pings have looked like for me. Turbulators and bits at the back. Stealth black finish. We see a chunkier weight on the bottom side. Like that looks quite beefy. Ping's always been very subtle. Still got the beautiful subtle neck. And the LST sits like gorgeously square. I'm imagining that standard slightly pingy ping off the face. It's very cold, so when I say feel, <laughs> I feel cold. Yeah, it feels really good, really standard ping. Like, you know, solid, firm. I say this word and it means nothing really, but they feel stable. And that's based on always the facts that when I look at the numbers and we've got strokes gain coming in this video, they just do so well all the time. And it does just feel super, super solid. Right, max time. Again, it's the same. Like I say, I wouldn't really know the difference. You see it more out here at the back than anything else. Ignore my dots. I've been playing with some dot ideas, but they won't be there when I do the numbers. Looks great. Yeah, it does look a little bit more stretched out at the back, I would say. Now I'm putting them both down, but it's very subtle. Arguably a bit louder. Be interesting if that carries on. They are identical shots, and that wind is definitely off the left. Um, but that sounded a little bit higher pitched, possibly. Be interesting if that was just that strike, or is it actually there? So now the draw, and the draw does just look very, very subtle. Wind off the left, I'm happy I've got the draw in my hand. Let's see if it feels any different. Just looks good for what is gonna be, you know from Ping, a pretty exaggerated draw feel. And that's definitely up the left, and that is, again, it's a different sound. The, the LST at the minute, is stand out different, and that wasn't as loud as I was expecting. Let's go and look at the tech of the three clubs to see if there's anything really stand out going on with them. Uh, and I'm looking forward to winning them on the next tee, even though it is bloody freezing. So Ping is saying it's the highest MOI driver they've ever made. 25 gram weight on the back of these drivers, and it's chunky and it looks big on each one as well. So they're really trying to push MOI on these clubs. All three drivers have the T9S Plus face. That's a forged face, and that is on claims of keeping ball speed up there. This is the max again. I want to hit it for the sound. See, it's interesting. It sounds better in here. 
It doesn't sound as stand out in here. It sounds just normal. So I do wonder how much of the cold and woolly hats and stuff is playing into that. It'd be interesting what other people think of the sound of them. Internal dragonfly on top of this club as well. So with the weight savings they're saying that they've made, so you don't see it, it's on the inside, the outside, the structuring, strengthening of this head or oh, the crown and the dragonfly, they're able to just control MOI that little bit higher. Still very aerodynamic. Were Ping one of the first ones to really push that? Certainly is such a visible difference. They were very early uptakers of that, and it's funny now how everyone has definitely followed that. I mean, that, again, this is the max, and that just sounds absolutely fine and good in here. I am not fast enough. Christmas has done me in. In the LST 445 head shape CC, so it's slightly smaller, they're saying, which you don't really see. It's a tiny difference. And now apparently the reduction in spin is much closer, now near 200 revs, where they've been up near 7,000 in prior models, I think. And I put it down by the board, getting inside controlled, not with almost tears in my eyes from the cold. It does look maybe a little smaller, certainly not as quite as stretched back, but it's subtle. Arcos as well in the top in the smart grips of all three clubs. Love the fact that Ping are going the stat route. I would have thought they would have been the first, but Cobra definitely were confident enough to take that on. But great to see Ping up there doing it. LST is definitely the loudest and the most pingiest sound as in what I expect from a ping. Different shaft options, obviously, for fitting good stock shafts as well for all your shaftoids out there. And we get the changeable neck in all three. Very, very subtle, the most subtle out of all of them. So this one is the Max fairway hit. LST wins, look, it's like two yards longer on the fairway. Is that as I expected? They were laid away identical tee shots. And there's the draw. And I'm not a massive fan of the word draw. They call it straight fit technology, which I think is a really kind of clever way of saying it because I didn't feel like that would draw anymore. It just felt like it wouldn't go maybe as right as the others, bearing in mind I'm a pretty neutral player. So if you're cutting it, it's not built to make you draw it. It's built to maybe reduce your cut. If you reduce your curvature, you've got more chance of squeezing a bit of distance out of it. I mean, all three of those, with intents and purposes, we're in a pretty straight line, as expected well performing. Right, let's LST start. Intrigued to see if that is, uh, that sound comes through. So at the moment out of the three, I'm preferring the sound of the LST. Tech as expected, it's kind of what Ping just do. And what's always interesting with the Ping is, well, I don't think they really ever go like saying that they're crazy, crazy long. I mean, they might do, but I don't, you know, it's not, the other manufacturers need to keep saying they're long. Ping often are just saying, have we got a little smarter this year? That kind of thing. Oh, we haven't got smarter again, have we? It's like that kind of little claim, but right, LST. I do have to keep looking because it's very easy. There was actually an edit in this video because I hit the wrong club because they just do look so similar. Um, combination of my stupidity, the cold and how good they've designed them, I think. That's the LST sounds great, like exactly where I want it. And it'll be interesting what the numbers come out like, because it's there has been a push in recent years for the low spin models not to be crazy low spin, making them more gameable. And if that is there, I feel like it would be the one I would choose. Sounds brilliant. Right, I'm going to guess which one I've got next. Max? Yeah. Maxi. And I think you'll see plenty of Maxis, I don't know, in people's bags, tour players' bags, as well as club golfers. Let's see if we get that similar sound or not. I want it to sound the same as the LST because I like the sound of that. And it is a different sound. It's definitely a different sound and not as nice, in my opinion. It's a bit more like nothing key sound i want the lst sound sf tech to finish again i think this one and the max just the sound is different i said higher pitch on the other t and it's almost actually like it's duller it's it's a bigger sound 
but a duller sound. And I'm not sure if that's even what they're meant to sound like. Like that one's really dull. Now I had it once before with Cobra, once before where we get models very early on in their cycle and I'm wondering if this one just isn't quite right. Like it doesn't sound how I would want that to sound. It sounds not right. Oh, let's go and look at the numbers before I freeze to death and uh, have a little game. The longest and fair way finding that kind of idea. Let's have a look at the numbers between 425 Max and LST. 160 ball speed pretty much with both of them, pretty much identical. Launch angle again very similar. Spin rate, look here's an interesting one, the spin rate's really no difference, it's the LST is 30 revs more than the Max and this is where companies I think at the moment are definitely, the, the, the low spin models just aren't as low spin as we got when TaylorMade went super low and then like companies felt like they might need to change, chase that model because it, it was unsustainable. It's interesting for me that the Max and the LST there are coming out identical. What I think would happen in time if you give a bigger data set, you know, 100 shots over time, you would see two to 300 revs less with the LST. There's no reason why you shouldn't, but the design of the club states that. But just on that data set, you can see how close they are, which I think is testament to how good the Max is doing. Before we look at those carries, let me just show you my deliveries as I try and keep these tests as fair as possible. Strike, close to as identical as I can get it. Look at the efficiency of these two clubs, which we'll come back to in a second. Club head speed 110s, not my quickest. I can't move the ping clubs as fast as others. These are averaging 111, 112s. I can even peak out a 113. I can't get a 113 with the ping driver. I haven't with any of their models of the last two, three years almost, hardly at all. Dynamic loft identical, face angles, paths almost identical, attack angle the same. Efficiency with ping, even though the head speed isn't as fast, so I can't move it as fast, the efficiency of these clubs beats and joints with anything. Nothing beats the ping on efficiency, which then in turn means that I get the same maxed out carries. So I get the same ball speeds and I get the same carries. It's not coming from me moving the club faster, it's coming from me moving the club fast enough, but the club doing what it does so well, which is just be uber, uber efficient at transferring energy to that ball. 282, 283, nothing to pick between those two. Let's see if the strokes gain throws anything up. Looking at the dispersions here, it's gonna be marginal in those as well, I would guess, without looking at the data that deep. Let's have a look at the strokes gain. What's it throwing up? Because at the moment, they're both just bombing. So before we go into the fun game, it's the strokes gained time. You see the numbers there were really solid. Now what's interesting with the two groups of uh, strokes gain numbers, so again I've got all and then removing recoveries and you choose which set would work best for you. The Max kind of takes it. It's 0.93 gains on a Tor Pro with the Max, 0.71 gains with the LST. And I would normally see feel that flipping around. LST I can squeeze generally a bit more out of, but I think with them moving them so much closer, again, you're just, there's hardly anything in those two drivers. If this would repeat, so over and over again, obviously the more data sets you get, the better it would be to get you an outline of how it'll actually perform. I reckon it would flip to and fro between those two gloves. For me, really, it's not much difference, apart from those kind of sound differences that we were feeling inside and a bit, a bit inside and a lot outside. Now, if we remove the recovery shots, again, the max wins, gaining 1.86 and then gaining 1.64. Again, you gotta remember for me, this is so exciting, that's against a Tor Pro. If I can hit less recoveries, total of X amount of drives, or gaining 0.17 on a Tor Pro if I don't hit recoveries off the tee, like bearing in mind I was always losing, it's uber exciting. Yet again, ping, strokes gained, I mean, I know it's not against other products, that's where you really see it starting to fluctuate, but it's impressively good. Let's see one, let's see which one wins out of those two in the drive off at the 18th at Pebble Beach. So you can see from the numbers and the strokes gain there, they're very, very close. If anything, the max just picking it. So I'm gonna try these two. Now I've not presented numbers of the straight fix, but, uh, the straight fit technology one, because it, it's not really my spec. Uh, they can't get the loft quite down, but the numbers I collect are, you know, they're around 10 yards shorter because the loft's just a little bit high. I could manage that, but I think a fairer test for that would be for you to go and get fit, put it in your fitting. You've basically got three heads. And what's interesting with Ping is I think the, 
out of the three heads they put, the draw head just doesn't really cut the mustard for maybe the distance players as much. Someone who's trying to hit it hard, certainly like me, I'm not really that long. But remember the max, you can persuade it into the heel as well if you wanted to, and then you've got your variations of lofts. Let me know if you want me to do some other numbers with some other testers on the max. I've got testing is developing for our videos coming in the 2021, which they posted. You'll see some new funky fun, hopefully data driven tests coming. Um, longest and straightest, three rounds. Which one wins, max or LST? So each drive of the three is competed against each other, match play. So in the LST here, I've got the more, I think, premium shaft and then stock in the max. What's interesting with my numbers as I collect, even though I collected my numbers with the same shaft, when I've been testing with these two in the different shafts, I'm getting the exact same numbers, like pretty much exactly the same. Make of that what you will. Right, in the comments down below, which one wins? Let's go LST to start. Christmas has slowed me down, I'm afraid. So I'm going to have to try and build up my speeds again. Wish me luck with that. Oh, I bet that's solid, but it's not going to hit the fairway. That's such a shame because that is so close to being good. <laughs> it's always punishing up the left. Splash. So that's a 157 ball carrying 279. What was the spin on that? 1-9 back spin. So let's try the max. Just needs to hit the fairway to go one up, doesn't it? I'm going to try and hit the same shot though. I'm not going to aim further right. Yeah, there you go. Max wins. That's going to hit the fairway. It might roll into the semi, but it's going to hit. Just stay up. Yeah, it's, that's a good drive. Not as long. I think it was spinny. Yeah, it was. So more ball speed at 158. One minor extra club speed, but I caught it slightly on the bottom. So it actually carried 264 and spun at 27. So massive difference in the spin there, but my strike was the defining factor there. So the red one being the last strike, which always is very interesting when people are so shaft driven. Like that's making a massive difference to spin. I mean, it shows you the potential as well. 158 ball speed, look, from that strike. As always, the pings are just so solid. Right, so the max takes the honor. One up max. Straighter, but not on the fairway. Uh, sorry, straighter, but not as long. On the fairway, but not as long. That's another good one with the max. The interest of 110, so I have gone faster on that one. That felt like a lower spinning strike. That's a wicked drive onto the line. Oh, yeah, one six spin. So you can see how the spin, look at the spin change over a thousand revs with those two strikes. <laughs> right, and that is not massive deviation. I mean, it is for me, but for most people testing, certainly in the amateur world, and that is quite a different performance. So that's a 283 carry. Ball speed 157, not my fastest, but backspin down at 1.6, and that is not the low spin model. 283, I think I said 183 there, but 283 to beat, gotta hit fairway. 167, that spin's too low on strike, but that was just my deliveries. Yeah, this has got to hit the fairway, it's gotta beat 287, or that's a clean sweep for Max, isn't it? I've gone for it. Yeah, so 160 ball. Ah, oh, that's one of my best drives. 1.46 smash, 287, 160 ball, 2000 spin. Yes, please. Post Christmas, getting strike not bad, a little bit low. That's to do with the move I'm making to try and get up to speed. 159.8 ball, that's 160. I don't know why it does that. Like It's like properly giggling at me when it does that, isn't it? 109.6 head, <sighs> it's 110. Why does it do that? Oh, spin axis, 0.6. Yes, please. Right, Max and LST one all. LST with the honor. It's sound, slightly different acoustics, very slightly different head. You might squeeze less spin out of the LST, but it's 200 revs is gonna be so hard to measure. Like you might get it, but can you get it again? And again, will be, you know, that I, I think it'll be close. And you could see that from my strokes gain numbers and my numbers. I mean, I think the Max, ugh, 
I don't think, these two drivers feel very much the same. Obviously the biggest thing with the Max is you can, you know, you get the same movability of everything, but you're just gonna push MOI a little higher with this one. And then in turn, if you do that, you know, on two clubs that are so similar, you might find that your average drive over a season is that bit longer. And that's where Arcos will come into its own. You know, your club fits are the best way of getting a club, but they're not the best, best way. People often discuss that. I mean, you would play, like I've said before, with a club for a long time before you get definitive stat numbers on what is better or worse. Right, 160 plus ball speed with both. I'm going to hit these hard. LST, can you? Oh, I've cut it. 110 club, so delivery not as good. What was the ball on that? In play, missing the fair. 159 ball, 278 carry, 25 spin. Decent drive for not a great drive, if you know what I mean. Right, Max, fairway over 272 carry. Can you? Let's give it what for? Oh, I towed it a bit, but look how stable that feels. I and mean, that was a toe, I was expecting that to really go, and it didn't. That's a winner for the max. That could hit the line. Honestly, you have to be testing these drivers. Look how low that ball speed is, 155, because I towed it. 286 carry, it's a slight over prediction on the carry, or it is an over prediction on the carry because the spin went down to 1 4. Let's just look at the strike. That high toe brought the spin way down, but you could see, look at the spin axis. Like people talk about faces and trying to hit fairways. I've said it before and I'll say it again. And I know anyone in the industry who tests clubs with half a brain. And I know certainly within the industry, if you're not testing against the ping, I would argue you're not testing. It has to be, if, if ping drivers are not on your test list, even if you're not gonna buy one, like no intention, you should definitely put it in there because it's a benchmark club. It always is. Now, I don't care if you buy them or not, like go and buy Strixen drivers. Everyone should just buy Strixen, and nothing else. Joking aside, it, it, it's a benchmarker. Any driver I would buy, I'd wanna know what it does in relationship to one of these. And that's only testament to one of the best companies in golf, arguably. Comments down below, 425, G425, three good heads. Definitely little out there on the sound. LST's my favorite, Max performs good. Numbers solid. What else would you expect from them? In the comments down below, will you put these on your test list?